uh, enough of that. <clears throat> Detective Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Gant was there too? Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecution's award. Young and dedicated, he, uh, when he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. Yeah, because the kid was actually working really hard. I mean, I can understand, uh, Jake, I mean, Jake Marshall kind of getting all this. Well, it does suck to actually have your family member, uh, member murdered, and yet also being deceived of the real truth behind the murder. So, of course, you would be that one person that just tries to go above and beyond their normal expectations. To just try to find out the truth. Yay! <sighs> okay, sorry about that. I, <clears throat> I assume that would. I mean, blah, 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 blah. I assume that would be why he was the first to run after Dark. When Dark grabbed me, I I thought I was good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in. I I don't clearly remember what happened then, but. But, but I'll never forget what I saw that instant. Hold it! Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark, and just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about a time of year. Time, time of the year, whatever. There was a terrible storm going on, going on, and lightning struck nearby. So, electricity went out? Wait a minute. If it's pitch dark, I mean, pitch in that I mean, pitch dark in that room, you couldn't, I mean, shouldn't you have been able to see anything right? Right, but just, uh, but just then lightning flashed again outside. That suddenly flash left an un, uh, unforgettable image of the scene of my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in the charge of the case. Wait, 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 time out. What? Huh. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Mm, sure. Hear more. So, you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Yes. That's what's so scary about this trial. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw? Yes, but... At that time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. Picture. Yes, I think she mentioned it before. Mentioned that before, whatever. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Mm, I'm curious about the picture, though. This picture, the witness drew, I believe it has a very important meaning. Objection! But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Witness, would you mind if we added this, sta uh, added this statement to your testimony? Y yes your honor. Hmm. Something's off, though. Hmm. 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 So we added additional evidence. So it's important. Huh. Wait a minute. I'm curious about something that we have. The full evidence list. So... Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, damn it. We only have, like, half one, so... Just to make sure, so we don't make a mistake. But here should be it. Alright, here we go. OBJECTION! Mr. Edgeworth, this little girl put all of her heart into drawing that picture, and yet you still insist it's, I mean, eh, and yet you still insist on denying its existence. <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is, as the prosecutor for the case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list of the SO9 incident. Exactly. Please turn it over, Your Honor. Turn it over? Turn it. No! Oh, that's it! I mean, what's this? Oh. oh. So, 
thing itself was the picture? Wow. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> yes. What is that? Hey, that's it. That's the picture I drew. Wow. She was at least good at making, like, you know, black... Um... Figures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go with that. Wow. She's actually pretty excellent with her uh, the design of it and the angle of what just happened. Anyways, indeed, two men appear to be wrestling here. Objection! Objection! What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Um... Only the, prosecu uh, pro uh, only the prosecutor in charge should be access to that list. Huh? This, uh, these lists, they're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear that, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed to two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here, where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious that what happened two years ago, only half of the evidence in the case ever reached you. What? What? Okay! Sorry. Order, order. Who would have thought the picture would have been drawn on the back of the, uh, back of the list? It was handed to Detective Goodman in questioning room. I mean, in the questioning room? Wait a minute. If the list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor. Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are buggling from your head. B boggling, buggling, oogly boogly, whatever. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. <laughs> yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. <clears throat> I can't believe Edgeworth actually made this mistake without actually looking at his own evidence list. <laughs> like a dingus. Is something wrong? Do I even have to ask? <clears throat> Sorry, Your Honor. There's something drawn on the back of my list. That is thing. I mean, that's this thing. What? Isn't that? Wow. That's that's that thing. That thing was dancing in the evidence room. Apparently, the head of criminal affairs used this for his blueprint. I guess he was out of scrap paper. <coughs> Sorry, gotta go. <coughs> Evidence list has been updated. Alright, so at least we got in closer. And we got faulty evidence? Eh. Eh. Shit, I don't know. Damn it, my phone. Anyways, <clears throat> very well. Will you please testify about the picture you drew two years ago? Anyways, <clears throat> huh? Oh, y yes, sir. Your Honor. <laughs> What's wrong with Emma? She seems to be thinking about something when she was, I mean, when she saw that picture. Uh, saw the picture, whatever. Anyways, come on. We gotta push. <clears throat> Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. Okay. The flash of light so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, it must... I mean, I must have fainted. Hmm. That seems a little convenient still, but whatever. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. Instant is... Instant, whatever. To think a flash of light could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Which is very convenient, and useful, and awesome. Well, I don't see any contradiction here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about the murder, uh... About to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Actually, it doesn't. It actually shows an image, but it doesn't show who and who. The defense may begin its cr I mean, begin its cr uh, Begin its cross-examination. Alright, here we go. Emma's picture. This is a picture I drew two years ago. Press. Okay, hold it. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? 
Um, I think I drew two or three days later. At first I was such in a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During the time of the evidence team was recognized, Detective Goodman was, uh, was placed in charge, under the uh, direction of Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? The flash of light was so bright, I could, I mean, all I could see were shadows. Hold it! But then how could you tell if it was Neil Marshall then? So, at the time you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall, I mean, uh, who had come to your rescue? 